Welcome back. Heated discussion, intense conversation, a second, third rather edition of the chair that of course takes us to a whole different place and different level. This is the rapid fire round as we move to the final uh, few minutes of the of the conversation this evening and we hand over to Mr. O'Brien to take us through. All right, so you were recently quoted on Wired 868 as saying that you nor the NNV would ever encourage homosexuality or legalize yeah. same-sex marriage. And I, I know that you kept legalize it very specific. Same yeah. Sex, yeah. And I know you kept it very specific um, for a reason. Um, given Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which I hope I don't need to explain to you because yeah. you have a great deal of time. Yeah. Um, and the fact that LGBT people are systematically discriminated in Trinidad and Tobago and in the wider English-speaking Caribbean, right. why is it your slash the NNV's um, vision to continue perpetuating that abuse and discrimination against LGBTI people? Right. Don't get it wrong. Um, because you have a position that you don't legalize or encourage same-sex marriage does not mean you discriminate. Everybody's entitled to their own um, opinion. We live in a society where majority basically rules, right? That is the law that we have. If the UNC or the PNM or the NNV gets a majority, their policies are implemented. But of course, you have to be sensitive towards the minorities within your society. Right. All I'm saying is that, in my opinion, as a leader, and I'm not just talking about a political leader, so to speak, because a lot of our political leaders have views on these things, but they never express them. And they have policy on these things, but they never express them because they don't want to lose votes, right? I, I try to be honest. Um, you have the right in the privacy of your home, et cetera, to carry yourself in right, whatever we, way. Right, but we but also have policy, an equal opportunity. We also have an equal opportunity act that expressly even an, an anti-discrimination legislation that actively discriminates against LGBT people. LGBT um, individuals are still um, potentially pressed under law to be unable to enter this country. We have other series of legislation like the Sexual Offenses Act that, dis right. th that deliberately attempts to or has the ability to discriminate against individual citizens of this country and right. your vision at least on paper or rather online through right. Wired 868 yeah. is one that continues or rather carries the same language of systemic discrimination against LGBTI people. I, I, I do not believe that. I have not de dealt specifically with these laws that you are speaking about, which you think discriminate specifically. I do not know that it is the case that that community is discriminated against. It, it is. I know, I know in reality, I know reality, <laughs> I know in reality and in truth, in, I know in, in, in reality and in truth that people who express their views, they, they are people who, um, who try to promote it. If you try to demote it, you are, um, you are, if you puts individuals who are no, I'm saying if you try to demote it, some people try to promote it, and if you try to demote it, you are almost um, stigmatized as though you are discriminating, and I think that is unfair. Right, you know, right? A democracy doesn't have the right to vote on individuals' rights. Yeah, right. our, our majority, our national majority, doesn't have a, <laughs> doesn't have a right to choose whether or not black people, for instance, have a right to vote. Um, you know, okay. Everybody Touching can this, vote. It's not. It's not LGBT a LGBT thing. Yes. Right? Um, what Being I married is not a fundamental human right. 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 But, but it is a civil right. It a is right a, that individuals, as citizens of the country, right. have. Right. right. But is it and if that, I, that as a citizen, this, if I am of a particular people's rights in some way, no. no. In, okay. Religious, religiously, right? Think about it. They wanted to arrest a pastor recently because he refused. To to get right, and right. I disagree and is with that. that? Is I that disagree fair? with that. Right. I don't yes. think so, that's right. fair. When you think but as about, a civil yeah, right. Okay, but when you think about incorporating these things in society, it's a bigger picture than people getting their rights. It's about taking away the rights. Right, giving black from people, people rights. Giving black people rights in 1970 was a was a national issue that had right. serious I national it's ramifications as well. It's, 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 it's actually I, I exactly the same. Individual citizens of a state were inhibited rights as a result of the majority, which he just said that, that right. as, a, as a democracy, no. the majority rules, and the majority ruled that black people in 1970 couldn't marry white people, couldn't vote, couldn't go 
in white neighborhoods, couldn't go in white hotels, couldn't go in white owned businesses, couldn't go ahead, finish. Uh, right. And, and it's the same thing here in Trinidad and the English speaking Caribbean around LGBT people. As far as the Equal Opportunity Act goes, it also right. it also ex, ex, um, goes into um, the HIV positive population and age. The, the Equal Opportunity Act does not protect those three statuses. HIV positive HIV positive persons. Let's look at this as too much. As a of it. Right. And I the more we add it, the more complex it becomes. Right, well then let's keep I it really, say really let's simple. have a conversation, right? When when I win the election, God willing, right? right let us have that conversation. Let's where, have a conversation let, on let whether individuals should have rights. Yeah, no. We let, have have that. Let, let us have a conversation whether we are going to change our law right. as it is. Let us have a conversation if does this does more benefit than harm. Let us have a conversation whether black and white is the same as being um, homosexual or heterosexual. Because, you know, they try to tie it into all these other rights to make it seem more palatable. But let us have that conversation in a real way and then come to an informed decision. Well, we've, got, we've got one minute of conversation from our panel. We've got one minute of conversation left, so let, let, let's, let's continue. Go ahead. Just to take it in a different right. direction. Right. Let's get the question. Just to take it in a different direction, uh, I can't seem to find a website for the new national vision. I can't, on, on their Facebook page, I can't seem to find any valuable information about the party. Right. What I wanted to ask is the NNBs, as many as you can in the, in the time given, the NNB's official policy positions, as, as well as where can the public have access to the NNB's manifesto and the policy documents. As you say, you would like to be the next prime minister. Why would I vote for you if I can't see your policy or your manifesto? Agreed. And thank you very much for that. Um, if you have looked onto our um, Facebook page, then I think it's a bit unfair to say you haven't seen any valuable information. But I understand that positions. the amount that you want, because you're an intelligent young man and you are looking for policies in depth, you may not have seen it there. I promise you that what you've seen there is probably more substance that you will see anywhere else. I and I will with continue. You. I, have, I have most of the uh, of the party's manifest, not manifesto, policy documents. Policy. I have them on my phone. I right. disagree with you wholeheartedly. But what you are finding on the national vision page is more substantive than the than, PNM and that, the UNC. Than the PNM. I don't have anything from the UNC, which I find is a little bit strange, seeing as they're saying that Rowley has no plans. But that, that, that's beside the point. I have the. PNM zone, I have the MSG zone, have I have the, the POIs, what, wait, uh, the draft, policy, the draft right. policy that um, that is when? from July, I think it was written in July 2014, right. authored by Colin Mimbert. I have MSG zone, I have the right. Alliance of Independence zone, and I don't and have I, anything from the new national right. vision. I, I will do my utmost best to provide Not social media, trying. right, to provide as much information as possible. Uh, Mr. That's Mr. why Mr. I make myself available to panels like this, and also online as well. I don't have the resources that these but um, we, bigger we parties have, have but I will make though. my, you will assist. We, no, we only have six weeks left though. So how, how can you expect the, the electorate to make an informed decision right. on the new national vision? But not so much as how can we trust you if you can't trust your Facebook page, but how can I expect to know what you, right. what you represent if you can't, in the six weeks to come up to the election, produce a document that right. highlights no, our that for the, the electorate? Right, our almost complete. I will upload. The, what we almost, have already. Almost complete is not good enough. In okay, six without the last final 60 seconds, folks. Right. Thank you very much for the scrutiny, and I apologize ten, to the ten, public. Ten second Go question ahead. from our live stream. The manifesto was one of the questions that they had. But apart right. from that, you, you brushed over the question earlier of 1990 and the same situation that we are dealing with. What do people You're want to know? Back to that? Sim no, 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 simply this, simply this. Given that you said that we are facing the same situation, uh -huh. would you have done it, or what can we expect different from you? And that's it. I, I won't speculate in, into whether that. What I can say is that the two existing parties, the one that you are a member of, didn't have any concern whatsoever with the Imam Yasin Abu Bakr, supporting them wholesale politically um, when they wanted to get into power. So it's a bit hypocritical for, for them now um, to now try to cast me in some type of shadow and say that I should be marginalized politically. You know, it's quite hypocritical. 
Okay, my, now we're out, unfortunately we're out of time, folks. This is this has been a very a very intense, very heated um, conversation, Phew. and I wanna I wanna thank I wanna thank for Abu Bakr for coming in um, this evening and and, and, and and offering himself up to the chair for yet another very healthy program. And I wanna thank you, the panel, of course, for taking it to the next level, leading the conversation and taking it into those dark corners in which sometimes you know we. We most most of Trinidad and Tobago have a difficulty in broaching and approaching. You all take it on public television and do it in, in a very vivid and direct manner. Next week's edition of the chair is going to be a very, very special one, and we want to encourage all of Trinidad to be able to tune in when our very special guest in the chair will be Mr. Jack Warner. We will be, of course, taking all our questions, and I'm encouraging you all Back now up. to go to the Breaking Dawn page Back and up. post your questions um, in, in, in the event that you would we, you would have, have have specific questions for Mr. Warner. Our panel is going to be expanded, and we, of course, are going to make very special arrangements to ensure that that particular program, of course, takes it to the next level. So remember, next week, uh, next edition of the chair, Jack Warner will be in the chair, of course, for, for our panel, and uh, we're looking forward to that. I'd like to thank the folks for coming in this evening. I'd like to thank Fuad Abubakar. And of course, I'd like to thank you at home for locking it down. The chair right here at STV Real TV. My name is Brian Haynes. As we count it down to September 7th, the conversation will continue and it only gets stronger as we go on down the road. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good evening. Well, it's politics time again.